Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and welcome back. Do check out the community tab if you are interested in participating in the little holiday gift exchange that I'm organizing for us here on the channel. No pressure, I just thought it would be a fun way for some of us to get something in the mail. But speaking of things in the mail today, I get to share my Appalachian Mercantile box with you and this is put out by JQ Dickinson. Now this is my fourth box by them because I do their seasonal subscription. They do a seasonal box for $42 or you can do their monthly box for $40 plus shipping. Now for me all the way out here in California and it's shipping from West Virginia, it cost me $11 but that kind of makes sense because a lot of the times they're sending sort of heavy food items so I understand the shipping costs. Now, if you're looking to go ahead and subscribe yourself, you can save 15% using the code UNBOX15. Don't worry, I'll leave all of that for you guys in the description box below. But it's a little bit different when you go to their website. They don't actually have like a promo code field in the checkout. You just put that code in the notes section and sometimes it's not reflected when you actually do go to the checkout to the cart. So you just have to go back and forth with them a couple of times via email, but they'll make sure that you do get your 15% refund. So definitely check it out if you you like getting different items to cook with. I've definitely enjoyed a lot of the items that I've received in this box and I always really love the like lifestyle item that they include or the bath and body product that they include. Like I've gotten a beautiful soap dish in this box and obviously all of the products are coming from the Appalachian region and I kind of love boxes like that that let me do a little bit of travel through my retail therapy as well. So let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we've got. You guys have to help me decide if I should stay subscribed because I don't get any sort of like PR discounts for this box um, so I have to decide if I'm going to keep this on the channel now that I have been getting it for a full year now inside we've just got their little product card on top they always include like a recipe to use one or more of the items that's included but right on top I'm actually seeing a little vinyl sticker that's interesting it's got a bunch of critters on it a bat and a bee a lobster so we'll have to see if it says anything inside about what this is all about um, but definitely very regional and then here is our product card they just have a nice image here on the back it tells us who the vendors are and then a little bit about the item they don't include the retail values but of course you could probably look all these retail values up right on the Appalachian Mercantile website uh, so definitely check them out if this is the kind of box that you like to receive as well so it looks like we got six different items let's go ahead and take a look at what they are here is that recipe card so it looks like a gorgeous roast chicken I can't tell you guys the last time that I actually roasted a whole chicken myself but maybe since Thanksgiving is going to be a little bit smaller this year maybe I'll just do a chicken instead of a whole turkey um, and it looks like it's a nice easy recipe as well there's only like seven ingredients and that's kind of the kind of recipes that I like because I think that you can make great food with very few ingredients so let's see what this is this looks like it's just like an invoice though so I haven't like seen this before it just says please honor this a certain code on there but I don't think that they actually honored the code on on my subscription this time so that's all right so let's go ahead and take a look now they always have like the prettiest uh, foozles or paper shred it's almost like sawdust it's like this beautiful like yellow color so I like to hold on to this shred um, to use in my own giveaways and gift giving so I'm gonna just pull all of that out of the way this is definitely a box though that makes a huge mess because there's so many foozles keeping everything safe inside so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the non edible item first just because it's kind of calling to me even though it's probably something that I will regift because as you guys all know I am NOT a bath bomb girl I'm more of a shower steamer girl but I love that this one is in cranberry and it is a really good size bath bomb it's a nice big one let's see what it says it says this is by Brookstone soap Brookstone soap is in Ono West Virginia and makes natural soap products this salted bath 
bath bomb is nourishing and moisturizing the cranberry scent hints at the seasons ahead so really really nice now this is the fall box for me but it's also gonna be the exact same as what people got in the October box if you're a monthly subscriber so they don't have two separate subscriptions they just use one of the monthly boxes as the seasonal box if that makes sense all right we got some matches which I love that they included some matches hopefully that goes along with something else that's in here I'm guessing that it does so yes indeed it does I love that we got a couple of non-edible items so this is a match striker out of ceramic so I love this and you can kind of see they did with the glaze they made it look like some matches so it's kind of rougher on the outside so I guess you can actually just strike your matches on that and on then obviously you can keep the matches right inside maybe that's what you were supposed to do with it so let me just take a look it says this is by East Wheeling clay works and it is really pretty I love that it's got a little bit of a turnout there at the bottom really pretty and it says this pottery cooperative in Wheeling West Virginia produces beautiful pieces this is a match striker but can be used for lots of different things such as a condiment bowl a salt cellar or a candle holder so what a cute idea I think that's really lovely and now you can definitely put a bunch of matchbooks in there as well so how cute and it's definitely something that I haven't received in another subscription box so happy to get that you guys I was like telling myself that I didn't need to get this box anymore, but I think it's just because it's been a while since I received it and already I'm like thinking I might have to make some room in my budget for it. So the next item I'm seeing just needs a little little wipe down because of the foozled dust. So you can see it in its full glory. Oh my gosh, this is some spiced pumpkin apple butter. That sounds delicious. And it's by Hearth and Pantry. So it is a nice hefty jar. So this is what I was talking about, you guys. You get big items that are a little bit heavy so I understand the shipping costs so let's see what it says it is apple butter has pumpkin blended in along with warm autumn spices it is delicious on toast swirled into oatmeal or spooned over ice cream wow I've never tried that before it's made in Chattanooga Tennessee so let me know if you guys what you use your apple butter for I know it's like something that I get in restaurants when I'm traveling and I'm always really excited because it's basically like a jam right it's not like butter that's like apple flavored but I'm very interested by the um, pumpkin spice flavor that's in there as well so this is a let's see how many nine ounce jar so pretty pretty good size all right what else have we got Ooh, this looks like something you could use for that chicken so it is from JQ Dickinson. It is, and they're known for their salt products. So this is an Appalachian brine mix. And look at it, you guys. You can see all the seasoning in there. Nice, big, chunky pieces of salt. That looks great. And I love that they already like pre-mixed it for us. So you can kind of take some of the thought out of that recipe, out of the process. It says, this is made with Appalachian salt, organic sugar, and a medley of herbs and spices. Just add water and your favorite meat to retain moisture and add flavor see enclosed recipe for perfect roasted chicken and of course you could use it for a bunch of other things as well so you just this is four ounces to make your mix so I'm sure it gives us some uh, instructions in that recipe so let's see what else we have got I think we've got at least one more item another glass jar that just needs a little dusting before I show it to you and this is some Worcestershire sauce, which is by Catbird and is also part of the roasted chicken recipe. I definitely saw it. It says to use two tablespoons. So a whole like bottle of this nice full size and I don't have any Worcestershire sauce right now so I'm happy to get this guy let's see what it says about this it says this is by Catbird Sauce Company this Worcestershire sauce is made in Charlottesville Virginia and is vegetarian it gets the umami flavor from miso instead of anchovies how cool delicious addition to any dish so I love that they gave us a nice uh, vegan alternative or vegetarian alternative it doesn't say it's vegan it says it's vegetarian so let's just go ahead and see oh it does have our Appalachian endangered species sticker that thing that I found at the very beginning sitting right on top this is by Rosalie ha Hazlett so here is that sticker again it says Rosalie is a talented botanical artist who has done fellowships throughout Appalachia this sticker highlights the endangered species of the area she gives profits back to organizations who protect them so that is really really nice so we actually got like 
three items this time that aren't edible items so I kind of like that balance a little bit more than the ones that I've gotten before so well done Appalachian Mercantile so let's just go over everything that we got once again we got the cranberry bath bomb which I will happily pass on to someone who loves their bath time we got the catbird sauce Worcestershire sauce which I will try in some roasted chicken one of these days if not sooner in something a little bit more simple we got the pottery match striker and they included matches which I thought was a really sweet touch and I do love this I think it's my favorite item in the whole box we got the Appalachian brine mix which I think is very timely for the season we're moving into and we're gonna do those nice home-cooked meals to feed a few more people than usual maybe we got our endangered species sticker which I like the idea of getting the sticker I don't really use stickers a lot but I do like that they're supporting a local artist and then finally we got the spiced pumpkin apple butter so and that, this might be my um, second favorite item in here and I'm looking forward to giving it a try let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was let me know if you've had a chance to visit any of the Appalachian region and if you enjoyed this video and if you think that I should keep getting Appalachian mercantile please let me know that as well by giving this video a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing